Hey everyone, welcome back to the Healthy Body Podcast. My name is Brianna Wilkerson. I'm your host. I'm a holistic health and life coach, essential oils advocate, CrossFit level one trainer. And most of all, this month, I am your detoxing teacher. And I am just so excited for the month of May. I'm so excited for May 2019 because I think as I've really journeyed in my own health and even worked along different women in their health these last three or four years, I've seen that there's some major pillars that when we do some work in focusing on those pillars, we do some work in focusing on those areas, we really see breakthrough. And I think a lot of women, particularly like certain areas, we like to look at how can we eat better? How can we exercise in ways that aren't hard and we can be consistent with? How can we be less stressed? How can we sleep more? And then I think one of the areas is what does it mean? You know, there's, there's this rise of more natural things. What does it mean to go back to doing things more natural? And to really allow our body to detox the way it should, and most of all, reduce our toxic load. Because unfortunately, with the rise of an addition to more things and more products and more, you know, both in what we eat and put on our skin and our hair, there has been an addition to more chemicals that actually aren't as helpful for you as you think they are. And the exposure to them over the long term can, can just be related to many of the health issues we face in today's society. And it may not seem like they're related, but they can be, right? So the best way, maybe you're like, I don't even want to know what an environmental toxin is. And I don't really want to know what it's related to. I just care about doing things more naturally. Well, then this month is for you. But maybe you're like, I actually do want to know. I want to know what, you know, what these toxins are named. What is BPA? What is triclycerin or whatever? What is, you know, what are pesticides? What are all these different things? Maybe you're actually curious as to uh, what, what are these things we call toxins and how they impact your body? Well, if so, this month is for you. And then maybe you're just looking for fun ways, uh, fun ways to, to have fun and more natural ways to clean, to use, put stuff on your hair, on your skin and your food. Maybe you're in that boat. So whichever boat you're in, you just want to do things more naturally. You want to know why, and you want to just have fun doing things more naturally. Whichever it is, this month is for you. And so it, I'll just share a little bit about my heart before I kind of talk about, you know, what did I call this podcast episode? Five questions to ask before you detox your body and home. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about what you can expect this month, including the five-day spring detox challenge, including the uh, master class that I'm doing in, in the Healthy Body Academy, including the special like bonuses I'm offering for women who join, who are joining the Academy. I won't tell you all of those. You have to join the challenge to know that, but there are going to be bonuses for women who want not just essential oil support, but coaching support and in really caring for their bodies and in detoxing, but beyond. And then for people who are like, I just want to get started with essential oils and detox that way. And then maybe you want to do both coaching and oils. There will be a special place for both, for all, whichever option you choose. So I am just so excited because as I have particularly ventured into the essential oil world, I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. That is the brand I use. That's the company I use. I love their oils. And over the last three or four years, I've done a lot of research as to what are these oils, you know, how does doTERRA source these oils? What do these oils in particular do? What are their chemical constituents? What are their, the safety? What are the emotional benefits? What are their practical uses? I, I don't say I know everything, but I, I do a good job in finding the answer because I care just as much as you care. And I want to make sure that when I'm coaching the women who have said yes to using essential oils and being customers or even sharers on my team, that they're getting the best education. Because if there's one thing to be true about both the coaching and the oils, why I do both is because I have learned things when it comes to what we are being taught is healthy for us and what is actually true that just makes me super upset. Am I allowed to say that? I'm super upset. Like it's an injustice to me and it would be unfair for me to hold this in. It would be unfair for me to be like, only if you do, like, no, I'm going to, whether you're on the, po on the podcast, I'm giving you tidbits, you know, uh, whether you're doing the free challenge, you're going to get some even more tidbits. And then when you join the academy, you're going to get even 10 more tidbits and you get some oil, you can get 20 more tidbits, whatever level you are and whatever place you want to engage on this particular topic and other topics, I want to journey with you in that because I care about your health. 
I care about my health, your health, and everyone's health. And I, I, as I've learned more about, in particular, since we're talking about detoxing and toxins, I have just really become so sad and upset that there are so many things that are on our fruits and vegetables that we, we think everyone says eat fruits and vegetables. And even with this wave of organic, we're not quite sure why organic is way more expensive. So like, can we really do that? You know, so what about pesticides? What do they really do? What do herbicides, all these things really do to our body? And then I've learned more things about, yeah, the dirty dozen on the food, fruits and vegetables. And I've learned about the dirty dozen in, in our personal care products, women, because we can put up to 500 chemicals on our body and skin and hair a day. And I've learned about the preservatives in food. I've learned about the kitchen cookware we use and how that could be leaking toxins into our everyday life. I've learned about the cleaning solutions, which are supposed to disinfect, but at the same time, disinfecting putting in our bodies through smelling, touching, and sometimes, well, hopefully you're not inhaling anything you're cleaning with, unless it's essential oils. Uh, you, well, well, there's a different story around that. But I've, and I'm just, I'm just like, what, how does this make sense? Like, it doesn't make sense because it actually is not supposed to. I've just learned how there are some regu regulated chemicals and there's some aren't. There are some that some people are saved and sometimes people don't care. And I don't know if it's their job. I don't know if it's the wild World Wide Web's job or the food industry's job or the, the fragrance industry's job or the beauty industry's job. I hope it. I hope we all we all can care about humanity and our bodies. And but I think it's my job. I do really feel a call from God, but just a call to really share what I've learned. And I haven't fully arrived in any of the things I'm going to share about this month. But I'm 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 trying and I. I'm trying to make small changes because it matters to me. It really does matter to me. And so for my journey of learning about toxins, and, we're, and there are so many, like toxins a very widely used term for the, the purposes of this, this podcast and this week and this month and all this sort of stuff. It's, it's just basically a substance that can become harmful after a certain point. And when I say environment, we're going particularly talk about environmental toxins, particularly personal environmental toxins, like the, the toxins that you're exposed to in your every, like your environment, both the environment you set yourself in and the environment you might be in. So your home is a very particular place because you're there, other than work there, you work, you're there a lot of, of your time. Yeah. And even at work or just the, dip, the typical things you may use that you may be exposed to things that you're not, you shouldn't be. Because, uh, Many of these environmental toxins, uh, it's not that they impact you right away. There are certain things that say if you, if you encounter a lot of bleach in places, in ways that you shouldn't encounter a lot of bleach, it's emergency room. What I'm talking about is just these subtle ones that over time, the, not the acute, but we would call the chronic usage of these over time add up. Because your body's meant to detox things that aren't good for it. It is your liver, your, there's different organs in your body. But when it's overloaded, it starts to store within your body, particularly your fat cells. So when you do a typical detox of food of some sort of juicing, you do lose weight, but you lose fat, which also means you lose toxins. Therefore, you have more energy and your body functions well. So that's why detoxes work is because it's actually, it is actually getting rid of detoxes, get like getting rid of toxins, right? And so it's just important for us to look at this, to talk about this. It's not important for us to get it all right and to freak out because unless you live in a bubble where you grow all your food, you like grow all, use, you know, you make your home utensils. Like if you're just like totally in control of everything, you live out like far, far west or whatever, you, you will, you'll be exposed to us, but that's not the world we, we live in. And so we're not talking about getting things perfect. We're not talking about changing everything in a day, whether I, you know, however you choose for me to lead you this month, whether it's on the podcast and my free challenge or in the Academy, which I hope you join the Academy. It's just so fun. Uh, and it's obvious we're going to go way into way into depth actually in, in this topic. I, I, I just, I just, the biggest thing is that even if you leave this month with like one actionable change in your food, in your kitchen, in your cleaning, in your hair, in your skin, uh, using a different, more natural solution that is toxin as free as possible, then that's a win. 
And it is a journey, just like your health. Like I keep telling the women that I work with, you know, overcoming yo-yo dieting, honoring your body, getting healthy body you love and you're proud of, um, using non-toxic solutions for your health and those you love, like all of those things, it's a journey. You're never, you're not going to arrive. There's always something to learn. There's always something to improve. And so the, the key is to pick one thing, do it well, and celebrate that you're making that change, right? And you'll hear from one of our Academy members later this month, well, in May, about like her particular experience in doing that into working with me and the other women in the group and to really, uh, to really embody working on one thing at a time, as long as you need to work on that one thing, right? So that was a lot. And I'm sorry if that was just like a ramble, but I'm just really passionate about this one particular thing. And I, I just really, my hope, my prayer is that this month you will really say yes. You will say yes into taking care of your body and those you love in as non-toxic and fun and joyful and healthy way as possible. Right? So let's talk about the podcast now. Let's get into that. Uh, and, and, and again, most of the time when I frame new themes, it, it's just me sharing my heart, sharing my story. Actually, I got to share my story first, right? Sharing my story and then um, a little bit of teaching and then more of what's to come in the, in the months, in the month. So yeah, as I've learned more and I just started to watch what I ate, I realized just as important as what we put in your body is what you put on your body and what you smell. Your skin is one of your, it is your largest organ that if it were to stretch out, it would be like 18 feet long. And so it is very important to, to ask ourselves, what are we allowing to seep in? Your skin is made up of like mainly three layers. I think it's, I mean, I always forget the order. It's your dermis, your epidermis, and your hypodermis, I think. And different layers protect different parts of like your body, your blood vessels, you know, you have your skin, hair cells. And at the very bottom is like, yeah, your blood vessels in, in your organs. And many of these things that we're exposing our skin to can get past all those three barriers. And we just need to be careful because if those things are circulating in our blood, they're circulating through our whole body, right? And so don't freak out again. It's just a matter of you being aware of what's actually happening when you're using a lot of the things you use and think about, right? So for me, it just started with using more like coconut oil on my skin and then coconut oil on my hair. And then I started getting into essential oils. And as I learned more, I just started incorporating essential oils, um, a lot of do-it-yourself essential oil stuff into my cleaning, into uh, my, you know, kind of like how I took care of myself with the average like cold or a headache or um, digestive issues or even just like sleeping at night, stress, and just looking for more natural solutions that I would typically look for another solution for. And then I started getting into particularly like essential oil-based products that were already made, like doTERRA has tons of them, and then some other companies, you know. Um, maybe I, I didn't feel like making everything from scratch. I wanted to get that. So that's what I kind of just, that was the journey. And over the last three or four years, I've switched out basically everything. Uh, I've, you know, I've changed my kitchenware. That was the la kind of the last thing I've done recently. I started, started to incorporate more organic foods. I can't say I'm completely organic, but I've started to incorporate more organic foods. I use essential oil-based solutions in my um, hair, on my skin, I brush my teeth and, you know, so it's been a journey and I think it's been a fun journey because I've allowed myself the freedom and the grace and the mercy <laughs> to just do one thing at a time. And that's what I want for you. So please, one thing at a time. All right. So that's why as I learn more, I just took a toxins course and I'm actually taking, um, like the intermediate, like I took a beginners and now I'm taking intermediate because this is fascinates me. And I think it's something that I need to be sharing with people. So then let's talk a little bit then about what, you know, I, you know, I'm going to share a little bit, five simple questions you could be asking yourselves before you detox. Then I'll talk a little bit about what we'll cover in the free challenge for women and why you should join it May 6th to 10th. And then I'll talk a little bit about what I'll cover actually in this, the Academy's masterclass. And then if the main, the main thing is that if you join the challenge, you're going to get coaching and essential oil support. I'm going to be sharing some practical things and coaching you through implementing it very briefly. And then um, also share some essential oil solutions around detoxing. So that's the place where you really want to plug in is that I don't do, I do challenges maybe three or four, maybe three, four times a year. Cause it's just, it, it is more work. And uh, I want to give most of my effort to the Academy 
um, the Healthy Body Academy. So, anywho, if you're still here, great. <laughs> so, you know, five questions. I started thinking about the areas that we're going to look at in the challenge and the areas I look at in the master class, particularly food, kitchen, cleaning, hair, and skin. And I just started asking myself, what do I need? What would the average person really need to ask herself and reflect on before they think about detoxing? Because when we think, um, and I'm not, okay, so let's just say this. When I say about detoxing, I do not mean we're going to do a juice cleanse. I do not mean we're going to do a, go the whole 30, which you all know I'm about. I do not, what I mean is that we're going to look at the things that we actually use in our everyday life everyday life. And we're going to ask ourselves how we can detox by reducing the toxic load of those things. And it's a harder work because you have to do a little research or you have to make a change and it's not the quick fix of a detox. But the thing is, is if you do a 30 day detox, food, whatever, all this sort of stuff, but you go back to your normal lifestyle after you did nothing, you just detox for 30 days. And what I would rather you do is detox over your lifetime and just get rid of things and get, you know, all that sort of stuff. Now, yes, there is room for a 30 day detox. Don't get me wrong, but I'm really wanting it for us to look this spring at those everyday things we do. So I asked myself, what are the questions? And so I'm just going to go through those. And I just really encourage you. What I would love for you to do is um, actually start thinking about what would be your answers to these. Take a piece of paper take a piece of paper and ask yourself these questions, write out each question and answer them, you know, answer yourself these questions. And actually, you know what? I didn't think about doing this, but I'm going to do this. Actually link. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to create a Google doc for this. I'm going to create a Google doc that you can download once you sign up for the challenge. So you can just print this little Google doc with these questions and write your answers in, but you got to sign up for the challenge. All right. So I'll do that after this. But the first question is, is um, what's, in, what's in and on your food? That's the first question. You need to just ask yourself with the food you eat on a normal basis, what's in and on it? Do you know? Do you care? Like, don't get me wrong. You're not going to know all the time, but I think there is a beauty. And this is hinting at something that we'll talk about in the challenge and in my master class is particularly pesticides on your food when actually some pesticides make their way in and then preservatives are often in our processed foods. And so just asking yourselves what is in there and if you can pick, I would say pick one food you regularly eat and, and ask yourself if you can answer that question, what's in and on, what's in or on it? And is it preservatives or pesticides? And then what are you cooking with? And this is going back to utensils. Are you using, uh, which by the way, learned about nonstick pans. <laughs> Are you using nonstick pans? Are you storing your food in plastic and then microwaving it? Like asking yourselves, like what sort of cooking utensils, storage utensils are you using and what's in those things? Are, are there potentially things that aren't good? Like, do you need to make a switch? Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in the challenge and a lot more about that in this month's masterclass, but, and then the academy in general. Um, but I really just encourage you to ask yourself if you can answer that question. Um, what are you cleaning with? What are you cleaning your bathroom with, your dishes with, and what's in it? If like, what ingredients are in it, and are those ingredients like good for you? It might because this may smell good, and that's something I'll talk about is fragrance. Uh, is that fragrance is something that we think, oh wow, like it's gonna be, it smells good, it smells healthy, but there are ways to manufacture a good scent and it not be good for you. So know that. Fourth question is, what are you putting in your hair? Like, do you know what's, what's in the products that you're using in your hair? Do you know if it's good for you? Do you know if it's not? Like, it's just asking yourself that question. And can you trust that company? Like, are they like certified organic? If you think they're organic, like these are just, I'm just asking you to just wrestle with these questions. You may not know the answers and that's okay. We are going to learn about it in the challenge. And then the fifth question is, is what are you putting on your skin? Again, a woman puts on a, can expose herself to an average of 500 chemicals a day. And I bet you half of that is through perfume and there's no judgment. We all want to smell nice, but I'm asking you, do you know what's in that perfume? Is it good for you? Are those, you know, it, it, these are tough, tough questions. And they were really talking about women and our beauty. 
Let me tell you, the beauty industry knows that you want to feel good, smell good, look good, but it's not out to make you really be healthy and good inside. Not all of it. Now there's a new wave of a lot of healthier, more natural products, 100% pure, all these sort of things, seventh generation. But as a whole, there's a lot of unregulated things, particularly in America, there's a lot of unregulated stuff. And so you just, again, you want to ask yourself, do you know what's in it? So the five questions before you can even start detoxing. So even before you do this challenge with me, hopefully on May 6th to 10th, what are you cooking with? No, sorry. What's in or on your food? What are you cooking with? What are you cleaning with? What are you putting in your hair? And what are you putting on your skin? Again, I'm going to make a little sheet with this. Once you sign up for the challenge, you'll get this print out. Just print it out and answer those questions. And I encourage you to think about, so you just, just pick one, pick one product, really. Like just pick one product and, or one thing and just do the research. What's in it? What's on it? And you feel free to share with us in, in the Facebook group. So, all right, so then let's talk about the free challenge. So those questions, we're gonna kind of like look a little bit into those in the free challenge. We're gonna kind of look from May 6th to 10th. It's a five-day challenge. Uh, it's gonna be held in my Healthy Body Community for Women. So even my essential oil team people, even if you're not in that group, join that group for this challenge. This is where we talk about coaching and the oils. The first thing is I'm gonna really explain toxins a little bit, give the importance of it, the history of it, uh, and just to help you understand it a little bit more. Uh, then we're going to look at particularly what's, you know, the food, what's in, you know, different things you want to look out for your food. Um, we're going to kind of really highlight um, pesticides. Uh, there's so much you can look up. We're going to look at pesticides and what is the, what basically the clean, sorry, clean 15, dirty dozen. Cookware, we're going to look at what are you cooking where, um, particularly like one kind of different ones to look out for us, maybe not as good, maybe a particular recommendation. Um, fragrance that's particularly around, like, we're going to talk about hair and skin with that. You know, what are the, you know, uh, just what are the things you got to be looking out for, for fragrance in fragrance. And then, um, and then we're also going to look at, um, antimicrobials. So we're going to kind of cover some of these in all different days, but antimicrobials, meaning like your, you know, uh, what do you use on your hands? That thing, I forgot it's called antibacterial. Maybe that's what I, that's actually what I meant. And so we're going to like, just look at that and together for five days, just ask ourselves, answer some of these questions together. You know, what are we putting on like, and what are some different solutions that we could, we could offer? And then I'm going to actually share one particular essential oil solution, uh, do it yourself solution that I've used that I love, or there's some other people in my essential oils team have used for those different areas. And then at the end, day six, I'm going to share, kind of do a wrap up but then tie it all together, but then share particularly with you how I believe um, the Healthy Body Academy and the particular masterclass we're doing in the month of May addresses all the stuff we talked about in the challenge and more. Uh, I'll share a little bit about, yeah, we're gonna cover toxins in that masterclass, um, but we're gonna talk about food, but also we're gonna talk about pesticides and preservatives, more kitchen, cookware and plastics, cleaning, house and hands, hair and skin, fragrance and makeup. And I'm really gonna give the women in the Healthy Body Academy um, more of an understanding behind it, more of the particular uh, pre-done resources you can, um, they can use kind of an ebook with the different essential oil recipes. And so it's definitely like if you are looking for deeper support in this long term and not just for the month of May, it's it, the Healthy Body Academy is going to be where you're at. Then I'll also share like if you're like, okay, yeah, I need some practical support, but I want to get my hands on some of these like, amazing essential oils you're talking about. How if you start with some of these essential oils, how um, the different things that I will offer you as a bonus around that. And then maybe you want to do both. Maybe you're like, I want to practically get support and I want the oils to help me too. And I want to do both this month for Anna. I'm going to offer you a little bonus too. I'm so excited about the bonuses. You got to join the challenge to know about the bonuses because I'm going to have a lot of fun with these bonuses. So basically any of the women that go through the challenge can have access to some of these bonuses, which are limited, which are limited um, because I only can make so much of them. So those are the five questions for you to wrestle with. And then I hope you join the challenge to help uh, help us work through those questions together and learn a bit of uh, some tips are here and there to really help you 
start to shift yourself, shift your habits and your thoughts around this stuff. And then of course, I hope you join the Academy and get some essential oils because I think I would love to journey with you more than just for five days. I would love to journey with you for a while, as long as you need to. I mean, really uh, detoxing. So be sure the biggest thing that you can do now, like what I want you to do now, one action I want you to take is sign up for the five day spring detox challenge. It is May 6th to 10th. It is five days where you're going to get a video, a short video each morning and a worksheet to kind of work through. I'm going to go live in the Healthy Body Academy, um, sorry, in the Healthy Body Community, which is free group. I'm going to go live in the free group for each, each day to answer your questions, share a little bit more. And then, um, and then you can share, you could do posts and the most engaged participant, there are a couple prizes. There's some, some essential oils and a coaching session as a prize. And then the sixth day, I'll share how you can get access to and join us in the Academy, my coaching program, and then get some essential oils and the bonuses involved with those. So ladies, if you're ready to detox your body like and your home this, this spring, and if you know any other women who are ready, send the link and you sign up too. Go to madewell345.com slash spring detox challenge, madewell345.com slash spring, spring detox challenge. You just got to enter your name and, name and email, confirm your subscription, and you'll get all the details, the worksheet, everything like that. And um, then join the Facebook group. Uh, the link will be in there in the, in, the, in the email. And then May 6th to 10th, we will get started. So this podcast was a little longer than anticipated, but I, again, I'm super passionate and I just wanted to really share with you the why and, and then a little bit in the challenge is kind of like a little bit of the how and then the masterclass is super how, super, super how. So whether you are already in my coaching community or whether you're already in my oils community, whatever part you're in, whether you've in the free capacity, paid capacity, this is the month to really engage in this. So go sign up for the five day spring detox challenge, madewell345.com slash spring detox challenge. Okay. And the link will be in the show notes for this as well and share it with some other women that you want to do this with, that you can have be accountable with all that share. It. So that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you for listening to another episode of the healthy body podcast. And I will talk to you later. See you in the challenge. Bye.